In general, it was confident, it was impressive, and the pickups and drop-offs were mostly seamless as they would be with a human driver, except for one where it drove about 50 yards past me for some reason, instead of stopping next to me to pick me up. A human probably wouldn't have done that. It does kind of take away a little bit of the magic of it if there's still someone in the car. Like, we know it's not gonna be that way forever, but there is just a person in the front seat. It felt like a normal, passenger ride, which I think is the bar. That's the success. But now it's time to try Waymo. All right, I've never ridden in a Waymo before. In Austin, it's built into the Uber app, so I'm going to try to call a Waymo by calling a Comfort Electric. Let's try it. And you actually don't know if you're gonna get a Waymo or not until you get matched with one. There is a button you enable in your account once you land in Austin to allow you to get matched with Waymos, but it turns out it's still kind of by chance. So from my experience, it's about 80% regular drivers and then once or twice out of 10, you'll get a Waymo. Okay, it's not gonna walk up to me. That's fine. Unlock the car. 